Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, I'm going to go over a John Bonham technique that he used in cashmere. And this technique is an interesting way to change up the straight uh, 16th note triplet fills. If you want to learn the whole song, we have the note for note sheet music of this on OnlineDrummer.com. And that's by Steve Lee. You can check it out in the link below. Usually when we first start to learn 16th note triplet fills, we're playing straight 16th note triplets all the way around the toms. It could be one... And that's cool. But once you get the timing of that down, you can start to play around with that concept. And John Bonham does this by removing some of the 16th notes, and specifically the, the first or the first two uh, 16th note triplets. And by doing that, it starts on this syncopated stroke. And it makes the fill sound a little syncopated and cool, even though it really is just 16th note triplets. In this lesson, I'm going to point out bar 66 if you have the full notation. And I'll put that up on the screen as well. It's the last bar of that line. This fill begins on beats three and four, but I'll play the first two beats. One and two and three. I guess I played up to three. One and two and three. You'll see that two and three is a loose hi-hat. Not all the way open. Just loosen it up. We'll start by taking a look at beat three. Beat three is that loose hi-hat. Three triplet. I come back with the right stick because if I were playing the triplets, triplet, my right stick would be playing it, and that allows me to move around the toms easier. Three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, one. There's a hi-hat foot on beat four. That's just right with the, the changing of the toms. So I'll do that whole fill, one and two. And so you can hear the difference between this technique and just straight 16th notes. I'll play it with those first two 16th note triplets there instead of uh, the pausing or the rest. One and And now with the rest. And now I'll shorten it to just beats three and four. Here's how John Bonham plays it. And then straight. It's subtle, but it does add a little bit of interest to that fill. The next fill I want to go over is on bar 74. And this is very similar to what we just played on 66, except that it doesn't go around the toms. But we do have dynamics there, a crescendo from uh, piano all the way to forte. So I'll play that slowly. One and two. It's always cool to add dynamics. It brings life to your fill. So I'll do that again. Two and two. You'll see that the forte is actually completed on the and of beat four. Three triplet and triplet, four triplet and trip. So by the time you get to the and, it should be completed. It, you don't have to have it an exact science, but um, that's how he played it. You can apply this technique to your own fills, get that John Bonham feel in there. If you have a, a place where you're normally playing triplets, maybe even off the ride cymbal, three ali and a la, four ali and a la, or three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, you can just take out that left stroke, three triplet and three triplet and three. And then you can do the tom one, two, and two, and three, and two, and one. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and have fun messing around with that John Bonham triplet technique. Check back tomorrow for Steve Lee's drum beat of the week. Then on Thursday, Alex Ribchester will be posting his uh, Thursday drum lesson. On Saturday, I'll have my drum beat of the weekend. And then all throughout the week, we'll be posting new sheet music to your favorite songs. Have a great week of drums. Keep drumming.